Yes, please, just take a seat. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on our show today, Mr. Jack Johnson. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, same. Thank you for having me. Now, first question I have to ask, how did you do it? Well, I've got to say, it was a consistent effort. Uh, I just had to stay motivated, had to really put in a lot of heart every day, just keep working at it, uh, making sure never to slip up, no mistakes, and when you do make a mistake, you just gotta pull yourself right back into it, that's what I always say. For some of our less informed viewers, uh, let's just make sure to clarify, what is it exactly that you accomplished this year? So what happened was, I thought to myself at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna keep the same pencils the entire year. So I bought two pencils, beginning of the year, in August, and kept them the entire year. This is one of them. How did you feel after that first semester? I mean, you could have rested on your laurels. You'd already gotten all the way through a semester without losing a pencil. That is incredible. But, I mean, imagine, I imagine putting myself in that situation, having another whole semester to go. I mean, that's like, that's like you think you're climbing Kilimanjaro, but you get there and suddenly you're on Everest. How did that feel, and how did you keep going through? Well, yeah, actually, that is kind of what it felt like. I had the same thought, you know, you get to the top of what you think is Kilimanjaro, but then you're not in Africa anymore. You're in Nepal climbing Mount Everest. Um, even though, you know, I could have rested on my laurels. I mean, already, this was an accomplishment hitherto undreamt of. But I thought, no, I'm going <clears> to <throat> stick, stick it out. I've got the grit. I've got the willpower to go this whole year without losing it. So I did. For some of those who want to be inspired by your performance, who might be in a place that they're struggling right now, you know, they've never really managed to put together a good, consistent year, uh, can you tell us about some of your past struggles uh, with keeping pencils? I know that some people really have an issue with that, and they might find it inspiring to hear that someone who has accomplished what you've accomplished has had their same experiences. So perhaps if you can give us a little rundown of what you've gone through in previous years, that would help us all. Uh, yes, previous years. Well, in high school, I wasn't so good. And even, you know, fall of 16, going into the first year of college, it was rough. I actually bought a 24-pack of pencils. Um, wow. And I lost 17 of those in a week. Inspiring. So, that was a rough time in my life. Uh, you know, I've also heard that before high school, you... You had a different interest in keeping pencils. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Before high school, well, yes. Uh, back in middle school, I wasn't great at keeping pencils, but I thought, you know, this shouldn't be hard. There should be a way, like at some sort of container, to hold your pencils, but not like one you have to carry around because uh, you could drop it and lose it. Uh, you know, you don't want to carry the container like in your hands. So I thought, where else can you carry stuff? Feet, shoes, specifically. So I had this invention, the shoe case. Just a Velcro strap. You put that around your shoe, slide the pencil in the strap. You're never losing that sucker again. Fortunately, the banks wouldn't sign my loan because uh, I was a seventh grader. And my parents didn't want to sign because, you know, they thought, you know, the profit margin uh, for selling a Velcro strap on a $50,000 loan probably not going to be worth it. Uh, and looking back, I can see the reasoning. Uh, personally, I disagree. I think, you know, you sell enough Velcro straps, you can get anywhere. That's pretty smart for seventh grade. One last thing. I've heard that you have a book deal coming out very soon. Uh, what's the book about and where might we find that? Oh, yeah, my book deal. I pre-ordered on Amazon. It's an autobiographical novel about a superhero who is tasked with never losing a pencil uh, for nine months. Historically accurate, uh, vivid read. Uh, many of my pre-readers say they love it. Uh, of course, they've only seen the introduction because I haven't written the rest of it yet, but pre-order it now. It'll be out in a month. All right, now that that's all wrapped up, do you have any last inspirational words for our viewers who might be trying to imitate your accomplishment? You can do it. You can keep the pencils all year. I mean, they don't just vanish into another dimension.
cut that last part. <laughs>